Hi friends, welcome back. I'm Elaine and I'm living with autoimmune disease. And today I want to say one thing. Medical illness is not a competition. Whoever needs to hear that. Let me backtrack a little bit and tell you about my experiences with competition in the medical world. I have rheumatoid arthritis. I have heard from friends before that they know someone with RA but it's not as bad as my RA because that patient doesn't get infusions or that patient can work out and run marathons. I also have heard from people before that they know someone with scleroderma, but my scleroderma is not as bad as the person they know because the person they know is on oxygen in a feeding tube. And recently I experienced this medical competition in the setting of a provider patient relationship. And what I mean is I actually felt that from a doctor that I was seeing. Medical illness is not a competition. I know that oftentimes friends and family members maybe are trying to make us feel better by telling us that our shoes that we're walking in are much better than maybe another patient's shoes. And I know that it's said in good faith and good measure to encourage a patient, but sometimes it can make a patient feel inadequate, inadequate in their diagnosis, inadequate in their struggles, in their search for stability, for finding the right combos of medicine and just living the best life of what it looks like for them. Like I was telling you, I recently encountered this in a medical setting with a new physician. And to me, it was quite heartbreaking. If you are a medical student or a doctor listening to this, please take something away from this. This provider I was seeing was a new provider to me, not somebody who is on my medical team, somebody who is giving an outside consult on my condition. When I went in for that appointment, I was met with a provider who made me feel inadequate in my diagnosis. I have a scleroderma diagnosis. My scleroderma diagnosis is not just made from my rheumatologist, but from a scleroderma specialist. And see, I feel like it's even competition to have to tell you guys that. When the provider started to examine my body, he examined my skin first. I should share that my rain odds of the week before was really good. My hands looked good that day. My fingers worked well. It was just a good day that I saw that doctor. This least scleroderma affects the skin. My skin score is very low. Provider says to me, oh, your skin looks great. I don't see any problems with your skin whatsoever. So how is the scleroderma affecting you? Your skin is much better than other scleroderma patients. I know that was probably said in good intentions and maybe even as an encouragement. I know, I know my skin score is low. But that phrase made me feel so inadequate as a patient that maybe I'm just complaining and obviously there are patients who are worse off than I am, but that's not true. It's not true. No matter your condition, your disease, your syndrome, it impacts their quality of life. And that patient is sitting in front of a doctor asking for stability, asking for recommendations to be able to gain the life back that they once had, or at least some sort of normalcy. And that patient should never be made to feel like they're inadequate sitting in front of that physician, that their diagnosis is not major enough to be addressed or helped. I should say that I don't know if that was the intended feelings of that provider, but that's the way it made me feel. And I know there's a lot of other patients who feel that when they're in their appointments or feel that when they're with their family members or their friends. And every patient is dealing with their own battle. They're all dealing with their own struggles. Their lives all look different before they got sick. Some people ran marathons, some people rock climbed, some people shopped endlessly on hours, some people were workaholics and working their way up the chain, some people were parents, starting their children all around to different things and being involved. Every patient's life looked different before their diagnosis. 
And all a patient wants is stability and quality of life, whatever that looks like. In America, we have a phrase called keeping up with the Joneses. And I know that's probably an American phrase. So some of you that are not here in America, what it means is if your neighbor gets a car, you have to get a car. If your neighbor gets a house, you have to get a house. It's the competition with people around you. Everyone around you, you're in a competition with. And it seems like that's just the way our society lives now. We're always in competition, but that competition, it doesn't belong in the medical world. The keeping up with the Joneses doesn't, doesn't belong in the medical world. We're all sick. We're all struggling. Some have diagnosis, some don't. I hate it when people tell me I'm sick, but it's nothing compared to your struggles. Your struggles are just as important as mine. Your, your condition and your disease and your syndrome or even your non-diagnosis is just as life impacting as the person next to you. I'm not saying I don't get jealous of people who look like they're doing better than me. Obviously we are human, right? I see people out and I see them living and I feel a little jealousy because I'm human. But then I look back and I think, what did their life look like before they were diagnosed? I don't know. I don't know. That's half of what they could do before they were sick. So really, I think this is just to remind people who are caregiving for those with chronic illness, autoimmune disease, or friends, or I hope I'm reaching somebody in the medical world so that you can learn from this a medical student. I just want to say that competition doesn't belong in the medical world. We should never be made to feel as patients that we have to compete or that we are not good enough for our diagnosis or that we're too good for our diagnosis. I'm curious if anybody else has felt this in their journey. If you have, leave me a comment down below and let me know. Let me know what you think about this. Do other patients feel this way? Thank you for watching my rant. I don't know if this was a rant, but um, thank you for watching this. This is what has been on my heart and I wanted to share with you all. If you like this video or you totally understand what I'm saying, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet subscribed and you would love to come along on my adventure, I would love to have you. The more friends, the more better. Please subscribe. My adventure is sometimes fun and sometimes medical. And until my next adventure, go have yours.